2004. Um, I was working in the salon in Walmart and um, I think I was 24 at the time. Yeah, 24. Um, I just ended a relationship. I've been single for about a year after that. Um, that day, I actually was bored and I just got off the plane and everything. So I was like, hey, let me kill some time and get online. I didn't get online at that moment. I said that I probably made it home around six, seven o'clock that night, the afternoon. I didn't get online until like almost 10, 10, almost 11 at night. It was kind of late. Cause I remember I literally laid down in bed. I laid down in bed and I was like, hey, screw that computer. I'm not getting online tonight. I'm not talking to anybody. But I laid down in bed and I was listening to um, some CDs. So I always used to let the music play on the, uh, the computer all night. And I said, let me just go and hop online real quick. That was it. The day we met, um, I want to say it was in the middle of the week. I don't know. I know it was January, and my brother's birthday is January the 7th. So, um, but yeah, I had just got off work. Tired is, I'll get out. Um, and that was when online dating was just getting started. I don't even think it was considered online dating because it was more like hookups, so to speak. <laughs> so it was- Try what she get done. So, hopped online and I was in a, another chat room before I actually went to the main chat room. So I was in another chat room and basically it was like, you know, if you have a chat on the old AOL, you normally go in the chat room and see how many people listed in the chat room right then. And if it's not a lot of people in that chat room for me, I'm out. So it probably was like five, ten people up in there. And everybody want to message you as soon as you get in there. Hey. And I he came home from work and I was I had moved in with my good friend, my best friend, one of my best friends at the time, tried to save some money and you know get stuff back on track or whatever. And I came upstairs to my room and I was like, okay, let me just get on online, see what's going on. And um, it was like, I wanna say, I had been on for probably about 30 minutes at the most. Um, it was a BBW chat site, I believe. Or chat room, I'm sorry. Um, it wasn't like I said, it wasn't like a like eHarmony or any of those dating sites. It was just a, a, a room. So I and mean, I, I really wasn't in there to hook up with anybody. Cause like I said, I wasn't looking. Let me check out the BBW because I really didn't mess with BBW chat rooms much. But I was like, let me check out the BBW chat room. And I, you know, I got kind of mad at that. Cause I'm like, I don't see the BHW, the big handsome man. What, big, BHM, BHM. Not BHW, BHM. The big handsome man. So I was like, BBW, let me check it out, see what's up. I'm up about dating big women. Mind you, the chat room was about big women. So, Somebody came in there or was talking about, oh, well, people only want to get with big women at nighttime to hook up. So I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm going to step in because <laughs> I'm like, no, that, that ain't it. And at that point, I see this, I don't even remember what his username was or his screen name was at the point at that time, but I remember it comes up. And he was like, nah, y'all just hating or something, something like that. And he was like, no, y'all just ain't met the right one, blah, blah, blah. And I wouldn't do that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. You just trying to say that because we in the chat room. You trying to hook up with somebody. Oh, man, I got up in that chat room. It was lit, man. Oh, my God. It was like. 30 people up now. I mean, we was masked out in that chat room. If you hopped out, you wasn't, you was not getting back in that chat room. It was like that. When the chat room reached that limit, 
it give you that little prompt. Nah, chat room too full, check another one. So we was masked out in there and it was some conversations going on. And I was one of them guys, I would just sit back, listen, say my little two sit. Just to, I instigated a lot of stuff. When I was on hell had to kill some time, I instigated a lot of stuff. But this time I just sit back, listen, and I just heard somebody just talking down on, you know, big beautiful women. And I'm like, am I missing something? You in a BBW chat room. So what's going on? So I just said my little peace of mind. I'm like, hey, basically, you know, I don't see where you're coming from with that. If you really like a woman, is she big, small, medium, tall? You're gonna be with her regardless. A lot of you guys saying you're not with a BBW, but all alone, you sleeping with a BBW at nighttime and day. You, I mean, you're going out with her, but you're walking ahead of her so she can't keep up with your ass, or you're walking behind her so people won't know you with her. But all along, you're really BBW. If you like big women, you like big women. If you like small women, that's what you like. But I was into big women. I always have been, always will. You try to say whatever to get somebody to, you know, go on and hook up with you. So, me being me, <laughs> I was like, I called him out on this bullshit. <laughs> and so I was like, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I have a very sarcastic mouth. And I said something, um, I said something and whatever it was, either it piqued his interest or he was in it for shits and giggles and just to start up a conversation. But that conversation led to a private, like, chat. And the rest is history. Is like we. But um, I actually met her there. And um, basically, you know, I, I, I basically, you know, came at the guy. I was like, hey, you know, you don't. I, I really don't see where you're coming from with that. And she just took a fix to me. Talking about, you know. That I'm being, I forgot how she said it, but you know, like I'm, you know, I'm not being real about what I'm saying. You really would be one of the guys that would turn your back on somebody or something like that, a BBW in the daytime or something like that. And I'm like, the whole time, who the fuck is this? Like, who are you? So, you know, long story short, she shot me at I am. I said, oh, no, the hell she didn't. You ain't shoot me no goddamn I am. You just talked about me, and I'm defending y'all. So I'm pissed off then. Yeah, I'm pissed. Because, you know, right then I'm, I'm lit. I'm like, okay, I want to see what she talk about. So we started talking, and I actually liked it. Because, honestly, our conversation lasted a good minute or two on the conversation in the chat room. From that point on, we was getting to know each other. We kind of, like, clicked. We realized that we were about two hours away from each other at that point um we were not very close in age but we had a lot in common so and it was i don't know it, i just liked it i don't know she was asking you know why from what i was doing you know things like that and my relationship status during that time I had a lot of female friends, a lot of female friends. And when I say female friends, it wasn't really like I had friends with benefits. It was just, I talked to a lot of females. I had a lot. Of so yeah, I was single. I mean, I single for the most part. I was dating people, but it was nothing serious. Um, yeah, I had just prayed about it and was like I wanted to work on myself or be by myself until the person that I was supposed to be with came along. I had a lot of female friends and relationship status, I was single. I wasn't, I definitely wasn't looking for a relationship. And, you know, like they say, when you're not looking for something, that's majority of the time what you find. Um, was I looking for a relationship? No. Like I said, I, I had been praying about it and was like wanting God to send me 
the person that he planned for me to be with. Someone that was family oriented because I wasn't getting any younger, I was older. Um, I did want to get married, have children, and settle down and all that good stuff. So I, I wasn't looking for anything. I guess that's when they say you're not looking for a relationship or you're not looking for your husband and that's when they come. And was I looking for a relationship? Really no, but I'm happy it happened. And the day we actually met was a really good day for me. I really enjoyed that. I still enjoy her conversations. Um, we have a good relationship. We we grown to know each other a lot, as you will see later on. But um, yeah, definitely it was a good experience. And the rest is history. It's like we have been inseparable ever since.